that's going to be interesting. So Hades, Isis, Oranos against Triple Zeus. Ah, nice matchup. Nice matchup indeed. So let's check the starting positions. Metalos is pretty fine. He has the second gold right in his base. Another gold right here. So he's in a great position. Uh, we can see that Utgar Daloke is at a similar spot. Also kind of okay. And Seattle has an Eggy, only Eggy in the game. He has again the gold right in his base, and that's the dream you want to play for as an Eggy. GDMs are also okay. Do they see some extra food anywhere close? Neither of the players, really. Except Frostmorn, he's the only one who sees the extra food here. And can go for the Aurochs right from the start and keep his hunt for later. So let's check on the first relic that we can see. Two lions, okay, that didn't even deserve checking. Another one, town center population, absolutely awesome. That's going to be helping anyone in the game. Next one, village hit points, another great one. These two are really awesome relics. Anyone should be getting once you find those. And Seattle has captured one, and that's better myth units. Okay, he's not really ha hoping to have better myth units himself. He just needs to take it from the triple Zeus's on the other side. That would be just brutal to have super strong myth units. And how's the other? going yeah he sees pretty nice food here that's for metallic so he'll be pretty much okay between him and Gardalke he shouldn't be really worried about any food and how's the TCs this uh, kind of seems like a peninsula and at the same time one two one two that is a third of Gardalke well not great position but not that not that brutally wrong either but it could be vulnerable to water fights so let's see how that goes in the later game and another relic 10% villager gold get the rate oh ho, ho. if the if seattle actually captures this <laughs> that's going to be a beast egg there well that's a scary thought right there and 15% building hit points that's great also awesome for anyone and trio hub for monkeys that's on par with the lines, so kinda useless. Another one TC. These both are for spawns, so they are fine. One, two, this is third of dance. That's very far away. This is pretty much middle of the map, but not all that far away from Frostmorn, so it's not brutally bad or some such. This is third of Metallo. Nice position and third of Seattle. Also nice position. As is essential. So TCs are not really bad. Except this one is kinda questionable for Udgar, but hmm. not all that horrible really. Let's have a look if someone is actually trying to advance earlier here. And well Essential, that's kind of okay. Normal advance, you can expect from Eggy an early advance there. Metal is also preparing and going to wall up to protect from potential raiding. So that's okay. And Utgard Aloke as the only at is still not up in. You can see that's very early actually. That's Frost Mongolia early for, uh, for Hermes. And we can see that he's gathering favor so that's going to be some centaur rushing that could be fun and dance is doing the pretty same thing so maybe double centaur rushing double centaur rushing triple centaur rushing oh well will they really all go for it if so it's going to be really fun 
Get removed, yes. Get removed, yes. Just two. Yeah, they are definitely all three going for Saint or Russian. <laughs> That's going to be <laughs> pretty fun. I'm uh, really curious if they can pull it off successfully. Hades is stolen. Is still not coming up. So he might be kind of surprised there. Yeah, just now clicked. And Prometheus almost up. And we can see all three GDMs are through Hermes. And let the fun begin. Well, come on, you house yourself and steal all the advantage you had. And again, Centaur Polemark. Mm. Yeah, he went into the right spot, but unfortunately discovered the Pharaoh here. And where are the others going? Frostmar is trying to see something here, and yeah, he is at a good spot. If he sends his guys here, that's going to be fine. This is pretty much just scouting and he knows where the villies are so he might be really sending more in quite soon. He was first going for the center polymorph which is reasonable because it makes our villies stronger and you can then actually one shot villies with two centaurs then. And he will be just now in 5.45ish. That's standard time but really GDMs decided otherwise there. We had a pause and right back at the action. Well, you will have to <laughs> run away right now. Fortunately for him, he had a house here, but still his three villagers not gathering food. And that's pretty tough at this early stage of the game. How's it looking for Essential? He's just running around uh, Seattle's base. And Seattle is probably looking well as an ISIS. That should be fast heroic. And yeah, as you could expect, Metallo is going for second TC, so he's going to be booming. And he is walling up to stop uh, the Centaur raid in there. Yeah, essentially I should be careful here, so that he is not actually trapped, but right now it doesn't seem so. And they might start wreaking some havoc here, GDMs. They know about the TC, but they are not going to be in time. And Metalov won't be really bothered by this, this is very close to TC, he'll be able to gather wood pretty much okay. So, yeah, and he also went for towers, so no problem there at all. He just has to be careful <laughs> about where he goes, yeah. Woodgard Aloke was able to build some army here, and that means uh, that Frostmorn is really pushed back now, and he has to think about what else to do. GDMs already took the second TCs there. And they are probably giving up thoughts of actually useful center raiding. And everybody is just booming. Well, that's kind of okay, but I was expecting at the start of the game that <laughs> GDMs would go for a much harder center rate actually but they decided otherwise and maybe it was just a boy there but well they didn't really do all that much damage there and as you can see it's turning against them now because Utgard Alka messed some army because of the raiding and now yeah for us more can gather food 
and we have prosperity from Seattle, so that's going to be heroic here soon. Not really a fast one, we are already at almost 8.30. And at this, on top of that, we have actually SNCL still picking some willies off. Well, you have the priest there, but fortunately you're not aware of this. Some more attempts to trade in, but Utgard Alka is <laughs> making troubles here for GDM. And we have Neftis through 9 minutes uh, for Seattle, and well, he's not really... Oh, he decides to go for it. Where did he actually cast it? Into the base here. Interesting choice, but I would think it would be better to actually play it on Frostmourne uh, because yellow is already there, so it would be a double brutality there. Can I actually take down the DC? They might. If the heroes are all off, one is off. I'm not sure where Jason actually is, but yeah, the DC is staying up. So this was pretty much a waste of ancestors there. And Jason is going to solve the issue here. So that's it. And what next? Where is he building his forward? Yeah, obviously near his TC. And he's right going for it. As he should. But Metal is going to find him out. Probably. Will he? Will he? Will he? Oh well, he won't. <laughs> Some nice attempt at GDM's wall in here. Dance is really feeling insecure, so he needs big walls here. And still, this guy came in. And, well, they are still trying to do some raiding, but they are kind of ineffective now, and it's pretty much just running around at this point, uh, giving Metal the time to actually boom. He's really boomed well. His house right now, so he's looking for a 30C. They are a missing army, and they will probably try to take their enemies on. Well, this will be a battle soon, so let's check quickly if someone is actually thinking about some kind of heroic. Uh, maybe, yeah, he is. Dance is thinking about heroic, that's as well. And how about you, Essential? Not yet, not really prepared. And, yeah. That's not going to do well. And let's see the battle now, then. That's, sorry, that's really a lot, uh, because as we, could, as we could see, SNCL spent, sorry, Dance spent all his resources on Heroic, so he doesn't really have anything right now. So if they push further soon enough, they could actually make life very difficult for Frostmourne. Metal taking the 30C as is expected because he's boomed, he's popped, so that's not really necessarily nothing else to do for him. And we can see some nice raid actually here because Seattle wasn't able to finish his wall. Uh, that cost him some units there. Right now Dance is finally joining the fight, but not really with enough units, and again is picking fights he shouldn't be. <laughs> and there's some nice 
attempts to trade in here, going from the Essential, who is trying to make life difficult for Seattle. But he's already 3 TCs, and that's soon going to be important, because as you can see, Essential is not taking his threat, he's not nowhere clear, uh, close to it. And Metallic is actually going for fourth right now. And he's again in a beast mode here. Successfully defended and up. And well, this army is going to be late as well, so you better divert your forces. And Seattle is going to try some chariot trading, it seems. Because he doesn't really have a siege army yet, he's just preparing for it through the, his siege works. And well, look at here. There's some larger fight going on. <laughs> Obviously, restoration is going to solve this quite nicely. And Valkers, not all that game changing at this point. So, TC is successfully up, which means Metallic at 4 TCs and he saved his protectors, his sentinels here. And now the battle will probably switch to this TC. Essential has a must decent army here, so he might be looking at some harassing, but he doesn't have any ups. So his units are going to be kind of vulnerable. And Dance has just went through Hephaestus, so we can expect Colossi joining the fun here. Isn't maybe Natalie going up as well? Not yet. But he's going for extra pop. That's going to be a beastly. And again, the Beyonce are preparing for a nice fight here. Uh, we can see Underworld. Oh well. Right to the back of Utgarda Loka. That's going to do some damage. Because obviously the army is all that far away. And we can see some... <laughs> some nice raid. And Colossi keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Which allows uh, Frostmount to actually take his 30C now because G uh, TBL has to have to pull off and actually go guard with Gardaloke because these Titans uh, Colossi are a little problem. Very nice. Oh, it's a double ceasefire. Well, ah, that's a waste. Bad communication from GDM there. But this TC will come up. That's a shame. They just cost them. Because I actually think that they might be... Might have planned the same second time around. And now they have one ceasefire less. But still, this is a very nice play. The army is nice, these titans are a problem for TBL. But right now Metallo is through Hephaestus as well. But we can see he has 40 Cs. And we have, will have uh, titans on the other side as well. Okay, so this base has been finally hijacked. And... Well, Seattle, not really sure what he wants to do here with all this, but Essential should be really worried here. He should try to defend. Let's check back to the fight. Oh, 
Yep, this is the correct play. You need to take down his houses and house him so that he has uh, problems of actually putting up an army there. Still some raiding from Essential, but he's not really interested. He's going back to actually defend his homeland. As we can see, the TBL kinda gave up on Udgar Daloke. And I'm just trying to outrun Essential there. Well, let's see who will be faster here. You can see middle, oh wow, yellow, another nice raid, but he should be really paying at least a bit of attention to this, he's just now losing units for nothing, but that was a nice attempt here. If he were able to actually kill all of those Swedes, that would be kind of brutal, because obviously GDMs are kind of concentrated on this base right now and the fight. And Essential has upped and he has at least the baseline. So he'll be at this point kinda okay here. But not against the Ellis if they come in greater numbers. Now how's this fight going on? Metalo has finally decided that he wants to go here. Yeah, he made all the cheap upgrades through the Hephaestos. And he is going to be wrecking from now on it seems. He is at the most DCs and he has the most power here. All they need right now, yeah, Gastrophys, they are great against buildings, so that's goodbye for the underworld. And this is actually on Utgarg Dalokas base saved. Uh, GDMs shouldn't be really saving this from now on. Oh, come on, fight, fight, fight! And we can see that Seattle is also going up quite nicely. Slowly but surely he's overpowering Essential there. And it seems that TBLs are really gaining ground here in this game. And they will start pushing soon. Dance is trying to do all he can with these titans. <laughs> Still call them titans. Colossi, of course. And he's really kinda successful and he's doing what he should be doing. But wow, his mates are not really strong enough to help him in his efforts. We can see that the only Imperial Mythics are Metal and Dance yet, so we are still waiting for the others to actually go there and decide the match. I would actually imagine that Seattle might be going anytime soon. He has already a very nice trade going on, so he's probably ready to advance. And the tide is turning again. It's now TBL is going back into the offensive and they have a very nice position here. And let's check the upgrades. Rosmore has nothing. Metallo. Well, he has everything. And how is it for Udgar? He has at least the baseline, which is enough at this point. And come on, dance. Yeah, he is making the cheap upgrades, so that he's going pretty much fine as well. On the other side, Essential is trying to push into Seattle, and that's not really going all too well right now. And as you can see, mercenaries are coming in, and that's a stop <laughs> to pretty much any attack there. And Essential is through Hephaestus right now, so that's going to be Colossi from him as well. Oh, <laughs> 
Uh, we can see a bunch of red stuff going on here in the middle of metal and that's just these colossi who are trying to take down TCs. Well, he's housed but this hero will come up soon enough. While the most decisive battle is going on here in the middle of the map. Interesting place for a market, but okay. That's probably just so that he could advance uh, to the mythic there. Essential is actually going, doing pretty well here. He's having. Yeah, he's building the upgrades right now because he is through Mythic and here we have the cheaper ones. Seattle is, well, he has nice ones as well. But this is pretty even battle and this is not even. This is just Metallic going berserk there and really smashing through everything. Even though GDMs are really trying here to go through the middle. This EC is free for GDM, so if they can actually take it, they might be able to level the playing field. They are in Mythics as well. So actually, GDMs right now have more people in Mythic than TBLs. Very nice attempt at trading, and it's paying off. Seattle is just trying to find this army while Essential is running around and trying to do anything he can. And it's really paying off because it's keeping Seattle busy while allowing his friends to enjoy the liberty of facing a slightly annoyed opponents who are losing willies. Yeah, Peltast against the Archers, of course. And how's it looking, Seattle? You really should be thinking about Mythic here. You can't really do all this. The Heroic, and <laughs> you're still going for the hunt, okay. It's Kind of unconventional for a Negi. It's late into the game, 25 minutes. And we can see the yellow commando here. That's probably aiming for some TCs there. But they're not really going to find anyone soon enough, it seems. And Metallo is going back for his fourth TC there. <laughs> right now it's pretty much safe. Uh, red and teal are not really anywhere near. And finally, Utgar is also in Mythic. And that's, that could tip the balance of the battle decidedly into their favor. Actually, for some reason, GDMs gave up on this, on fighting these guys, and they will now. Will they take the TC down? They are going to die pretty soon here. Mm, this is very close. And you can see that TBL are just wanting to be safe. They are just wanting to be safe and going for a wander there. At this point GDM are not really looking all that great. But they are going for a wander themselves. <laughs> now this is interesting. Basically, who puts it up first will probably win the game. Because at this point it's kind of even. The TC survived, as you could see. And... Well, well, well. Fun stuff going on. Now how's it looking for Seattle? He's helping himself with his marks. That always helps. When you're falling behind as a Negi, just pull up the marks and you're fine. And he's actually trying to do some fun through switch seed ships, which is just as well. And 
That's kind of nice play and usual on Marsh. Because usually uh, the opponent doesn't have anything that can bother you on the water there. But essentially is really eating into Seattle here. He has nice forward and he's going to be a big trouble. Still no mythic. Aren't you up maybe? Still no and still not even upping. While Utgar Dalke is going for his destruction derby and is taking on another TC. Middle is pretty much safe. Metallic is fourth TC, so he's going to be at an advantage, yes. And how is he looking? Yeah, this is pretty much done. Faster than this. Okay, so that's TBL. Quite possibly winning the game. Even thanks to that. Do they have. Yeah, GDM have two underworlds actually. They have two underworlds, so they can potentially do some fun here. Really, Seattle should make some. As an ISIS, he should make some monuments here to protect from god powers. And uh, that would be the best play at this point. <laughs> and Utgard Alke just went through the back door there. For Frostmorn, and it's just eating him li alive. Well, this is kind of difficult time for Frostmorn. He's getting hammered from top to middle. He's trying all he can to stall Metallic while building his next TC. And all that. Well, it's probably not going to be enough. How oh, we can see Seattle going forward is probably interested in the TC here. And Frostmorn has lost yet another TC uh, through some attack of Metallic. And how's this looking? Well, Seattle just sent his wheelies uh, into an enemy army. It's kind of a tough luck and not really paying enough attention. And these two wheelies are probably going to be building a dock, yes. Or some nice harassment of this TC because it's well in the range there. Perhaps Essential is really doing quite nicely here. Any bidons? Okay, and they are probably, yeah, they are fully up. And how's it looking for Seattle? He's fully up on the heroic. But he still needs to go up into Mythic. And how's the yellow here in the middle? Yellow and blue are actually pretty much all the trouble Frostmorn needs right now. And even Siege works here. Wow, wow, wow. Frostmorn is really <laughs> taking all the bad stuff in this game. I'm wondering if maybe some of them are preparing to take down the Wonder because they should be. They can't really hope to take it down through normal means. Nobody is massing any army there, so they are probably hope first thinking about taking down <laughs> their enemies in the battlefield. And finally, Seattle is through thought, thought, and. That's probably just to stall if some titans might come up there. This essentially means that GDM's titan gate is going to fall down pretty easily there. Essential is still fighting an uphill battle here because he's fighting all the normal army from Seattle and plus the mercs. Now that he is mythic, he's going to be up in 
hopefully. Even more. And as you can see, oh, pretty brutal tower spam here, so this, this is very safe. And this is going to be very tough to do anything for Essential. And Frostmore has resigned because the push from Seattle, the, from Metallic and Udgar is really strong. And as you can see, yeah, Udgar was going all in into the Wonder, and that was a GG. All right, let's check the post game real quick. Civilian unit is high, 135. <laughs> Kinda overdid himself, I would think, a bit. But still fine. As an Aggie, you have the mercs, so it's understandable. Research count, well, well, well. Very nice. Very nice play in both games through Metal. Really, very nice. GG.